The Western Cape Health Department says it's not a matter of if COVID-19 hits South Africa, but when. Officials are confident, however, the province has the necessary systems in place to deal with it. The message from Western Cape officials, uh, that's the Premier as well as the MEC for Health, uh, is definitely one of not to panic and also saying that the province is indeed ready to deal with any cases of uh, the COVID-19 coronavirus. This, of course, comes uh, on the day uh, that it had been confirmed that one person uh, in the Western Cape has tested positive for uh, COVID-19. Well, the Western Cape is preparing to set up field hospitals in the event of a major spike in coronavirus cases. Our team Teams have been out there looking across the province at possibilities for field hospitals linked to our hospitals. The Western Cape Provincial Health Department is today kick-starting its community screening and testing for COVID-19. Screening and testing is being intensified. A new facility has been set up at the Kayalicha Hospital. This is one of 19 across the province that will be in operation. I think one of the key things that uh, we see in the Western Cape is they do a much, uh, much more testing. So a much higher proportion of the population is being tested than we see in other parts of our country. So part of the increased number of patients or cases is a function of the testing. Now we have today 100 taxis here uh, and these taxis will be transporting our nurses from end to work and they will make sure that they get there on time and they go home on time. The Western Cape is noticing a slowing rather in COVID-19 mortality and admissions to hospitals. While the peak is still predicted at the end of July, current data suggests it won't be as high as predicted over the past week. There have been fewer admissions to hospitals in both the public and private sector. Mortality rates also are not as high in this period as predicted. Field hospitals are helping to ease the pressure off facilities. Hi, Alan Woodley here. I'm at the Tisong Centre in Kailicha. You'll remember this was the Medicine Sans Frontiers uh, partnership, the extra field hospital that was put in place here. And of course now it's being broken down and, uh, and it's going to be moving to the Eastern Cape and we support that move. Uh, but also a bit of a bittersweet feeling because it was such an amazing facility. But the great news is that it can be broken down now because the numbers are dropping here in Kailicha. And uh, of course, as they are dropping across the province, and of course, now our focus is back to the economy. So, hopefully, this facility can now be used in the creation of jobs for Kailicha.